Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of a pair of true wireless earbuds from Let's Come, called the STBE30. These might just be the new budget king of TWS earbuds. They sell for 40 bucks, which is very affordable, but more importantly, they also have a USB Type-C port for charging, whereas 99% of the other TWS earbuds I've seen, especially under $100, only have micro USB. Specs-wise, we're talking about Bluetooth 5.0, a flying saucer-shaped charging case, as well as a battery life of 4.5 hours on a single charge and up to 36 hours combined. The capacity of the battery case is 600 milliamp hours and they are also IPX5 rated so they can be sweat proof if you're taking them to the gym. And they do have built-in mics which you can use to answer phone calls when paired to an Android or iOS phone. In the packaging we have just the charging case itself. We'll take a closer look at it in a moment. We also have of course the earbuds in addition to some spare silicon tips and a USB type C charging cable. As a quick comparison with some other TWS battery cases, these are the Crazy Baby Air Nanos, which are 160 bucks, much more expensive, but they also have Type-C for charging. Really, the Let's Calm here are not any less stylish looking in my opinion. Here are the AirPods in terms of size, so these are very compact. And then here are the Tiamat Force, which also has a rotating design, but these are also more expensive at about uh, 60 bucks. And again, it has a USB Type-C for charging, which is unique compared to all the other competitors editors that has the older micro USBs. Now the only downside of sorts, it's a very reflective and shiny surface, almost like a piano, so it tracks fingerprints and scratches a bit more easily. However, the mechanism for rotating the battery door open and close feels really slick and well engineered. It just feels very responsive and like it's going to last for a long time. Each click is just very precise. So popping the earbuds into the case, you can see there's almost an alien symbol in red on the ear tips, which are touch sensitive, that you can tap on to play and pause the music once paired. But more so, there are LEDs embedded on this entire ring that is actually acrylic, so it's transparent and it glows when it's charging. Also, when you plug it into the Type-C port, it also glows and flashes. Just a lot of very clever touches that makes it come to live in the dark. Moving into audio quality and performance, uh, the BE30 sound really good, but they're also not, you know, anything too different from other pairs of TWS earbuds that we've tried uh, for this price range, which is to say that it's very good. Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds in general offer very good latency, so there's no lag between the video and the audio. You can play and pause a track really quickly on YouTube, and everything stays synced. Also, there's going to be more bass than you're really expecting out of earbuds, especially if you are transferring over from Bluetooth 4.1 or 4.2 earbuds, those tended to be a lot tinnier sounding, but all of these 5.0 ones have sounded really good in my testing. The only downside is the earbuds themselves don't really have any outer wings or tips to them, so if you are doing vigorous sports and exercising, they can still occasionally fall out because they are very slick in terms of their construction and their ergonomics, but they're also very lightweight. You basically stick them into your ears almost facing downwards like this. As with all earbuds, you have to make sure that you get a tight seal and fit. You can change out the silicon tips to help you improve that. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to hear as much bass. But once it is tightly sealed into your ears, again, you do get some pretty decent sound quality just playing back some pop music, electronic music, EDM, watching movies, so on and so forth. Basically, for 40 bucks, I think they sound great, but they're not necessarily going to be audiophile grade in terms of giving you the most clarity. And although they do have a lot of bass for earbuds, they're obviously not going to be as thumpy or bass heavy as on larger headphones either. At the end of the day, I would say the BE30 aren't necessarily the best sounding TWS earbuds in the world. If you look at much more expensive pairs from Sennheiser or B&O, you can get some perhaps better quality and resolution and detail with the drivers. However, for the average consumer at 40 bucks, they're absolutely a steal, offering a pleasant mix of bass, mids, and highs. They're stable, they're easy to use to automatically pair, they're very lightweight and comfortable, and of course it also has one of the coolest designs I've seen in a battery case along with the added USB Type-C and LED charging indicators which are just very cool to see in the dark. That is evocative of something much more expensive than the price actually is. So that's what I mean by saying that this might be a good budget choice king to consider because they are certainly more stylish looking and more forward compatible with the Type-C port. 
support than the MPOW, you know, T5s and T6, in my opinion, at a slightly lower cost. Uh, but otherwise, sound quality is about the same. You can check out more details in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. These have been the BE30 from Let's Calm.